Wait. My favorite Nate Diaz clip ever, ever, is the coolest thing, especially if you've ever been bullied. Do you ever see Nate Diaz when they go, hey, were you ever bullied as a kid? And he just looks and he goes, no, I had a big brother. Oh, and you're cool. like, and your heart swells, oh, wow. and you go, "Fuck yes!" And his Stockton. big brother was Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz. Diaz. <laughs> Diaz. Nick fucking Diaz. <laughs> Nick Diaz is one of the all-time greats. I have I to heard. ask this: yeah. Do you, yeah. is that you is there, cause I remember when the story uh, broke. Okay, hell nah. you never, that never happened to you. And I had a big brother, man. Fuck his big brother. Yeah, cool. And his big brother's a savage. A savage. Look a at that. real legit savage. I remember when Nick, when Nick Diaz fought Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler was the man. He was like yeah. 20 years old. He was an assassin just smashing people. Yeah. And Nick Diaz went into the octagon. And as he walked into the octagon, he was like stomping on the floor. What, what part of... Uh, California, is he front again? Stockton. 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 Are you serious? Yeah, the worst yeah. place I forgot for a second. The worst. And he was no, yelling out, Stockton. Stockton, motherfucker, Stockton. Stockton I love it. What? Hey, by and the way. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, I was yeah. confused. Like, as a, a commentator, I'm like, what's happening here? He's like, Stockton, <laughs> motherfucker, Stockton. I can't believe I forgot Stockton. Yeah. You're the one that brought it up. The only reason I, I know that. I today. Okay. All I've had is alcohol. Really? Yeah. You, wait, I just, you worked I out. I got up. I was up late at night. Wow. I wrote late at night till four in the morning. Got oh, up. Fuck. Got up. Got in the cold. Got, did my workout. Go back to the story. Stockton, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he yells out, Stockton, motherfucker, Stockton. And, 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 and you see Robbie Lawler going, what? Is that? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> and when, when we thought Nick could beat him, like we knew Nick was a jiu-jitsu guy. But he beat him with boxing. boxing. He knocked him out. He knocked out Robbie Lawler. When he hit him with a right hook and Robbie dropped like face plants, and we're like, what? It was nonsense. Like, no way. Somebody bullied ruthless Robbie Lawler. Oh, look at that. He just started. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Robbie was an animal. Robbie was throwing back, but Nick was just. Oh, he, oh, that, that, talking that, shit. You, you got to understand that that talking shit is a 100% legit psychological tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fucks with your mind and impedes your performance 100%. There's, it's a brilliant uh, move. It's in all it. sports, too, in well, all high-level sports. It is, and in fighting, I, I think it's he did it better than anybody in the beginning. Nobody did it better in fight. He would talk so much shit to them. Frank Shamrock said that he couldn't believe it was happening to him. Because when Nick... Go to Nick Diaz versus Wait, Frank Shamrock. I want to see this knockout. I want to see it, too. Okay. Is no, this one? Nate, he Nate's one that flicked off the cameras, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I was at that he fight. He stunned him with the one-two. Yeah, but that this is oh, Nick was fucking. better. In all due respect to Nate, Nate will tell you that Nick is better than Nate. Nick was just weed killed Nate. Nick was one Nick, of the, I mean. no man. He, I thought he stopped fighting because he wouldn't get tested. No, 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 no. Nobody what? got killed because of weed. I thought he stopped fighting because he's like, I'm not cleaning Nick? up. Nick. Yeah. No, no. The, there's no testing now in the UFC. Now he's just had some real injuries, man. Oh. The, like if you you got to go to Nick Diaz, like Ooh, right there, there boom, go. face plant. You got to go to Nick Diaz in Strike Force. If you want to see Nick Diaz at the elite of the elite level, where he achieved like real true greatness, when by the time he got to the UFC, he was still great. He, when he fought Gomi and Pride, he was still great. In strike for uh, 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 an elite athlete in combat sports has a small window of time where they can perform right. at their best level. And when Nick Diaz was in Strike Force, when he was a champ, he was fucking everybody up. He would just walk you down and beat your ass, and if you went to the ground, he would fucking strangle you 100% of the time. He beat everybody's asses. God damn it. The thing is, like, he would let guys take him down and, like, shut up. You can't knock me out. Like, you never knocked him out. No one knocked him out. He always survived. He always figured out a way to turn into a grappling exchange, and then slowly oh, but surely blood. he would beat you out. Nick Diaz swam from Alcatraz. That's a gangster thing. Five times. No, really? Yeah. Five times. To the mainland? Times. Like great white sharks. Five times. Time might be more. Nick, I'm sorry if it's more since then. It's probably more since then. He beat everybody down. Beat everybody down. Eventually, you just withered, and he never got tired, and he just kept putting it on you. And at the end of the fight, it was always like this. He was basically oh, hitting a be. fucking punching bag. A person who couldn't believe the amount of pressure that Nick Diaz put on them. Just beating the fuck out of them with not even breathing <laughs> he not heavy. Stop. He did not stop. And he's just standing on top of him like, what? That's it. That's over. I want you to go to Nick Diaz versus Frank Shamrock. 
Because Frank Shamrock was a legend. Hardcore. He was a UFC champion. He was the first complete mixed martial artist. He could wrestle. He could submit you. He'd style. Where you're just 50 percenting guys. You don't get tired. And if you can do 20 punches at 50 percent, it's almost as good as 50 punches at 100 percent. Yeah. He's, or, he's not, uh, or rather, 10 punches at 100%. It's yeah. like if you go cut it in half. The, the volume also keeps you from being able to take a good breath. Oh, right. The guy's on you all the time. You never get a breather. Frank's not getting any breath, and you are fucking cooked. So he's cooking his chicken right now. He's got his chicken on the frying pan right wow. now. Oh, damn. He's wow. fucking, he's cooking chicken breasts. He's just piecing them up. And look, not tired, not not exhausted, not hitting him. That there's a dig. That's wow. a dig. First wow. dig. Wow, wow. That right hand of the body he dug into. So right now he's 100 percent going yeah, after. Yeah, now he's going after it. See the difference? Yeah. Look, these punches have a lot more fury behind he's them, tire right? Because he he's ending it. the fight. He's he's more, Frank's already at 180 beats a minute. He's wilting and he's beating the fuck out of him. And then he helps him up. He goes, "You're a legend. Get up." He said that you're a legend. Get up. And he holds his hand up. God damn that's it. how he feels about wow. him. That's legitimately how he feels about him. Is there anyone better than Diaz brothers? Yeah. Brothers? No, the brothers, man. That legend. Look, look there's a lot of that's, they're, they're like, Are they better than Peyton Manning and, and Archie Man or the, Eli Manning? Eli Manning? Yeah, Eli Manning. Oh, yeah, of course. All sports are saying. Yeah, like the brothers. No, Peyton and Eli are better. I don't know, man. World titles. Yeah. MVPs. Multiple rings. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Conor yeah, McGregor, Nate's biggest win. McGregor. That's his big win. 